Hello, I'm Phoebe and this is my mum Kerry and we're from Diverse Learners and this week we're going to be doing a video every day for Dyspraxia Awareness Week 12th to 18th of October 2014. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to be talking today about time management. It's a request we've had mm -hmm. and feel free to leave us any requests oh, for a video yeah. you want. Um, but particularly getting out mm -hmm. on time. So why is it difficult for people with dyspraxia to get out on time? Well, it is difficult, mm -hmm. no more difficult than you know most family lives, but it's the energy and the effort it takes yeah. somebody with dyspraxia and the stress and the anxiety it can mm -hmm. cause to get out on time. Mm -hmm. um, that could be for a number of reasons or a combination of reasons. Mm -hmm. Getting up can be really difficult for yeah. some people with dyspraxia. I really, really struggle. Phoebe struggles more with sleep, so mm -hmm. you might not have had a good quality sleep. So it makes it more difficult to get up in the morning. Yeah. yeah. Uh, poor time awareness. So mm -hmm. not really knowing what 20 minutes is or 10 minutes yeah. is. You know, somebody shouts, it's 10 minutes to go. And you go, ooh. Not yeah. really sure what that is. Yeah. Um, memory, so remembering you've got to have everything and yeah. have I got this and have I got mm. that and packing and unpacking your bag because yeah. you can't remember if you put something yeah. in or not and it's all that takes yeah. time. And also the time pressure element. So if you've got to be out by a certain time, it's that extra added pressure which can, you know, really affect you and you you're less effective and you get the, you don't really get anything done. You get a bit flat. We call it walking around aimlessly. Mm -hmm. So you're walking and back and flapping and flapping, yeah. but not necessarily getting anything done. Yeah. You see that on MasterChef, actually, sometimes <laughs> when they're walking around the kitchen yeah. but not actually doing anything, and it's that kind of yeah. thing. So there are a few things that can help. Um, I, I like a checklist or in my diary. So, go on. In, uh, in our house, um, on the back of the cloakroom door, under stairs cupboard mm -hmm. um, we've painted it with blackboard paint mm -hmm. and we've put a list on it and um, your list doesn't have to be this comprehensive maybe four or five things yeah. is enough we've just put mm -hmm. lots of things on there to give you an idea of the things yeah. that can go on really good for encouraging independence particularly mm -hmm. transitioning to secondary school yeah. or teenagers who need to take a yeah. bit more responsibility and they don't feel that you're nagging as yeah well. absolutely not getting on them have you got this have you got that yeah Which then causes tesh pressure mm -hmm. and tension in the morning so you go along and you tick off like self gratification, isn't self gratification. It? You feel much better because you've done the jobs that you've needed to do, and it's a positive thing. And also, if you come down and you've already done some jobs without looking at the mm -hmm. checklist, is about that routine, that yeah. overlearning, and that really helps. If you yeah. use a whiteboard, there's these little oh, yeah. things here, which are little white post-it notes, but you can get mm -hmm. them in A4 and other size, and they in just rolls, yeah. in rolls, and they just stick. Mm -hmm. on any surface so you don't need to put out everywhere don't need to put nails on the wall you can get no. them um, see through mm -hmm. etc and then you can just wipe it off yeah. the ticks off each day and start again in the yeah. morning and also pockets i quite like pockets it's a nice it's pink it's vibrant so i'm not going to forget um here it's got buy milk so this can be your last minute sort of jobs you know things that you don't necessarily need to pack in your bags or yeah and they hang them on the door handle. Yeah. So as soon as you go to the mm -hmm. door handle, you see them. Um, Phoebe's chosen a pink yeah. colour because it's mm -hmm. her favourite colour. Yeah. It's a positive thing. These are from Paper Chase or Happy Design Gifts. But other suppliers do exist. And what's good about that is if you have an idea in the middle of the night and you go, mm -hmm. and must remember, yeah. have it by your bedside, write yeah. it on, then put it on your bedroom door yeah. and you'll see it first thing in the morning. Other things um, that work really successfully for me is packing your bag the night yeah. before. I don't do this as often. And I often forget things, so you can see that it's, you know, valid and effective. <laughs> yeah, and also it helps me sleep better because mm -hmm. I know everything's in there and I know That's I don't correct. have to check it in the morning and unpack it all again. Mm -hmm. I even lay my clothes out right down to my knickers. Mm -hmm. Maybe a bit too much information, but... Mm -hmm. So I don't have to make any decisions in the morning, jewellery, yeah. all the rest of it. So and you leave it by the front door as well, don't you? No, I've got my knickers, no. <laughs> <laughs> but you leave your bag. By the front, yes. by the so I put my door. bag right on the doormat, mm -hmm. so I would have to physically climb over it mm -hmm. to get out the door. So there's no way I'm going to yeah. forget that. And then about you know that. where it is if you've got any last minute things you just need to pop in. Yep. So these are our little tips for yeah. you. Hope it, you um, have yeah. learned a bit more about dyspraxia and some of the strategies that might help yeah. you. And we'll be recording some more this week. Yeah. Try for now.